uh, welcome guys welcome to the first ever tutorial on how to make a truck simulator skin either for both american truck simulator or euro truck simulator so basically what we're going to do is we're going to need two applications uh, that is paint.net which is this one and paint job packer so i'm going to leave uh i'm going to leave the links to all these applications that they are free applications down in the video description well, the third application that you might know you might choose is this one triple A logo. I usually use it to customize my logos so that they can be or they can be conforming to what I want and what I need. This is where I get most of my soft most of my other skin designs and I finish it off in what? In paint.net. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for our templates, the ones that we're going to use for either track. So I'm going to skin uh uh, Renault T, Renault T range truck. So this being one of my favorite new trucks, I'm going to skin this one. What you do is you open this skin template in paint.net. The moment you open it in paint.net, it opens. So the ba the main idea is for us to skin this whole truck using what paint.net. And what you're going to be doing is using this template as just as a blueprint for what we're going to need. So the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the files that we're going to put on top of this what of the skin so what i do is you first open um you open your pc then i go to my desktop where my what where my where my images are located so i'm just going to take just a few up uh just going to click just a few things that i think i'm going to put just on this temporary skin uh that one two maybe a track number three yeah, basically much I think that's it. Then you open them as well in what? In paint.net. Now the next thing that you do is you go back to your main what? To your main template. Now here you decide the color of your what? Of your truck. So what I do is what I usually do is I add a layer here so that I do not skin on the what? On the template. So I add a new layer. Once on that new layer, then I what? I come and color. So it's up to you to decide the color that you want. Just for this tutorial. I'm just going to use uh, I'm going to use white so white becomes what my primary color then i come here and then i what then i skin my whole truck so the moment i do that the whole layer becomes white then i come back then i take this background which is the main template then i put it on top of the what of the color then i add again another layer now this layer is where we're going to be doing all the work so the first thing that we're going to do is going to get this what uh this cargo to congo so you just first highlight it uh, then I control C to copy it. Then I come to my what? To my main template. Now take into consideration that this is now under a new layer. So I paste it here. Then from here, I just increase the size of my skin just for me to, to know where it will be going and how I'm going to put it. So basically much this is it. And then I copy control C and control V to make a same exact copy of that. Then I put it the side. Yeah, something more or less the same that. Then I just take this. I copy it. Control C. Again, on the same what? On that same layer. Then I just paste it. Now, remember, <clears throat> remember you need to what? You need to resize any image that you get so that it can fit the canvas size. That you're going to be putting it on never forget to do that always do that then i take just the, the track number then yeah basically much that's it that i'm going to be putting on the what on this uh skin for cargo to congo so what you do next is you just put it wherever you think it's best and then basically yep and that's it um Control C and V, then I put it as well on the other side. So now, the moment we are done with this, now we have our what? Our complete skin. You can even put your name, whatever. This is the remember, these are the insides. This is the top part. These are the view mirrors. You can design it in any way that you think you would want. Now, this is just a basic skin. So the moment I'm done with this, the next thing that I do is I untick. The background so that i remain with just the what with where i've been skinning then i take the image then i flatten never forget to flatten your image 
then you save your what your image so i'm just going to save it on my what on my desktop so that we can be easily found so on the desktop is just going to be what cabin a then we save now after saving this image there's now the new application that i'm going to tell you about it's called paint job packer so basically paint job packer is an application that is going to make dev files for you either for euro truck or for american truck and the best part is it's got skins for both uh, trucks, trucks and trailers. So you'll be finding everything that you need under one thing. So I'm going to click next. Now here you're going to decide which game are you skinning for, American truck or European truck. Then you take a European truck. Next thing is you click next. Then you decide, are you making a paint job pack? That means for multiple trucks or for a single paint. Now, since we're making a single paint, we're just going to come and tick single paint. Then we say next. And then one paint job per vehicle or separate paint job per vehicle. Now, this is because in each truck, there are different cabins. There's small, the medium, and the bigger one. So it now depends on what you're going to be doing. Now, this will make the file to be bigger. Now, this will make the mod to be even smaller because it's just one skin pack for the what? For the whole truck. Then you just say one paint job per vehicle, right? Then you say next. Now, the moment you get here, now you need to what? To name your mod so i'm just going to name it um jim then the author it's ghost ink right and then this is the name that you're going to find it and then I'm just going to say c2c then the price you determine the price that you want i'm just going to put 1000 then the internal name this this is just any name that you think of so i'm just going to put what cc now this is the best part here it will ask you what are you making a truck or a truck mod or a trailer or a trailer mod right so since we're making a truck we may we come to truck and then we come here uh we look for what for the renault t the moment we say renault t we say generate mod it will give you this pop-up message that will say your mod has been generally what uh, successfully created now what it does is it automatically creates this paint job packer for you now the next thing you're going to be doing is you come in here now remember it's a renault t every paint goes into vehicle truck upgrade paint job remember this is a paint job now remember our internal name ccc right then it's got what renault t now what we just did this cabin is the same thing as what as this cabin now you can skin the rear fenders the side kits for 4x2, 6x2, and 6x4 on their own. It's all up to you. So what I usually do is just open this one in paint, in, in what you call it, in, sorry, I just open this in paint.net. Now, the next thing I do is I create a new layer, right? Now, I come back to my old skin that I had created. That's if I want to what? To use this one. Then I copy everything, which is Control A, and then come back to where this paint is opened. Then say Control what? Control V. Now it will ask me expand canvas size or keep canvas size. Now because this canvas size is a smaller magnitude, and our templates always come in the right size, I'm just going to say what? Expand canvas size. Now automatically it will do that for you. Now the next thing that you do is you take your image, you flatten it, again, then you file save as now remember you no longer need to change anything i'm just going to say cabin when i say what save then you ask me do you want to replace this then you say yes it automatically replaces and then you say okay it's safe now that's one way of doing it another way of doing it is just deleting this but bear in mind the name you take this cabin file you drag it inside and then you rename it to this exact name don't change anything this exact name once you're done, you're going to open your paint job packer. Then you what? You highlight everything. Then you make it a what? A zip file. So when you add to archive, you add then you paint job packer output. So I'm just going to rename this to C2C as well, since it's a skin name, C2C. Now we are done. The moment you do this, you take this, you cut it, you got your documents. And then you put it in your Eurotruck folder. And I paste it. Now, after pasting it, I'm going to open my Eurotruck, which is one way that you're going to see if this mod has been successfully created or not. Now, the best part about this is 
after you create this mod, it is going to be able to be shown in your in your gallery or in the market gallery so that you can be able to see what is happening. Now you need to first activate the mod. Don't forget to do that. Now that's what I'm going to do. Activate the mod, then get into the game. Um, then say mod automatically recognizes the new mod, which is this one. Paint your packer, then you what? Then you activate it. After that, you continue with your game. Now this might take a few minutes to load, but then it's fine. Now always remember this works for both trucks trailers either ets or ats now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you also that what happens if you're not going to be making it for a what for one for one vehicle type you can be making it for particular vehicle types i'll also show you the amount of mods or the amount of truck mods that are what that can that can have their dev files generated the reason being paint job packer makes it hard so it makes it easy for you to make create dev files and it's been proven to work from 1.32 and upwards so even up to 1.37 you can still get what you can still get your mods working and it also supports a few mods that are already existing because ets studio and ats studio have been having what different mods so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your track dealer since remember we made for what for a renault t we look for a renault then we go buy online All right so remember we made for the t range now what are we going to look for the t range high sleeper or this one whichever you want still the same thing now you click your truck you go to your what to your paint we're looking for what c2c as you can see the name here now done that's how we make our what our skin so remember you can you can color all of this when you make when you color your what your rear fenders your side fenders and the whatnots now this is just basically on how we make a what a skin now also when we do that remember i said i'm going to show you how to actually create for multiple skins now remember one thing once we start creating a skin or when we're creating a skin one thing that it does is you need to remove this folder from your what from your desktop so that it can be able to not conflict with other files so i'm just going to automatically delete it we start my paint job packer so that you can be able to see the amount of files that it what it works for now same process either euro truck euro truck or american truck i'm going to show you both so when you say paint job pack uh, one paint job per vehicle right it automatically now starts showing so these are the amount of uh, stock versions of trucks that are there the trailer stock versions now truck mods it has these now you can also add new truck mod links and also as trailer mods now this is just basically for the e ets now i'm also going to show you for ats uh, done now for ats trucks well we have a few international launch star being the latest edition that has been there but then the market has not been added yet and then trailers same thing the mods and trailer mods hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe